and welcome back to Let's Play Jade Cocoon. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. I ground for approximately two-ish hours. It doesn't seem like I'm going. I uh, made much in the way of progress with the amount of grinding that I did. Seeing as I'm all quote unquote only level seven and my monsters are only five, six, and seven, but at the same time. It was, it felt fruitful, like every single level up feels impactful, so that's not too shabby. But anyways, we have uh, Apatron, which is relatively unchanged. I didn't level him up all too, too much. Still has all his water shit. Pata, which I had used with a couple of earthly or air-based monsters, which, um, yeah... And then I changed his appearance back, but he still retains fire attack and wind attack. I'm realizing that each of the five different forms of attack that they have actually have a thing to it. So, horn attack has fire, fang has wind, so on and so forth. It's a pretty neat system. I actually really dig it. And then I still have Terragon, which uh, I had kind of mistakenly turned into a little bit of a fire creature as well. But, from the snaky, poisony ones that had been roaming around, I actually got the poison attack for him, so... Yeah. Not sure why I called him Terragon when he's an air-based monstrosity of sorts. But, I also did tip my... a uh, tip. Dip my toes into, uh, the dragonfly place. And, um... Honestly, it's not too shabby. Like, um... Yeah, I'll go to the barrier gate just so we can be all like, Woo! Going in. But the first immediate thing I saw was another one of those, uh... Terra creatures? Of course. I'm gonna be trying to catch as many of them as I can. Of course, because... Who doesn't want to? I thought this area is pretty damn cool. It looks like a giant freaking dinosaur era jungle forest thing. Let's see. Also, I'm learning too that if a creature is sleeping, you could theoretically walk around them if they're not blocking a path. Yeah, see? It's just another. Level 3, one of these. So we'll pop out Terragon. You seem only able to change their names when you fuse them, by the way. It's a little bit eh, but at the same time, not bad. I think they get bigger by their level. Because looking at Terragon versus Terrafraid. And, you know, some of the other critters that were around. He is large. And I dig it. Makes me really want to... Uh, it, it makes me actually want to level up and care about other creatures. To see what it is that they also change into. And it's not like, you know... Kickleberry? I'm going to assume that does nothing bad. Goldberry. Is that a uh, equipped? No. Valuable. Rare berry found only in the forest depths. Strange smell shunned by some, loved by others. It's gonna be some sort of a relation thing. God, I really hope there's not a, a dating sim aspect to this. I'm having a blast just, uh, grinding. Another one of these green ones. Let's see. Yeah, I would summon a Patron were it not for the fact that he is kind of weak against him. So let's summon Pata. Eventually, I hope to turn Pata back into a fire creature, but look at him! He's so big and burly and awesome. Oh, I'll wind attack you. Ho 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 ho! Yes! 
Then just slap him. Yeah, it's got to be level dependent about how their appearance is because, man, you guys are looking more and more gnarly the higher in level they are. Hello, is that another skeleton key? Yeah, alright. If we can find a chest... Okay. Another Earth one. We'll summon up Pata again simply because I like the guy. I mean, come on. Just happy to be here. A good old wind attack. I'm realizing too that, yeah, this is like no bare bones of a uh, combat system. Use. Use strong attack against weak enemy sort of a thing, but honestly, sometimes you don't need more than that. At least not all the time. Okay. What are we even having up in here? Ooh, that's a new one. Like a turtle. As a Strange looking turtle, but a turtle nonetheless. Rigu. They are earth element. I could weaken them. Let's weaken them with pterodon. One moment. <clears throat> uh, ah, excuse me. I had to make terrible, terrible noises with my throat. Yeah, they're like missing little turtles. I dig them. Not bad damage. Alright, we'll wind up this other one. And then if I need to, I believe I can just, you know, tap them once with... Yep, that's definitely Earth Element. I should be able to just tap them once with Darius and then capture them. I'm not gonna risk it, I'm gonna go ahead and just clock one in the face. Yeah. Okay, six damage. Capture time. Get in my cocoon. This is what I get for having dinner just before deciding to record. Yeah, these guys are one level higher, too, than uh, most everything else I had been facing off in that other part of the dungeon. Dungeon? Forest. Excuse me. God damn. Get in my cocoon. Did it. I think pretty much as soon as it pans back to this camera angle, you can see whether or not you had had or had not captured the monster in question. Well, that's not ominous looking in the slightest. I don't know what you're talking about. Is there a point to this area, or is this just a... It's probably just a dead end. Throw me off. Guess what? It worked. The adventurers go left. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. <clears throat> uh, different verse, same as the first? Slap them once with a fire, fire, wind, water, heart. Although I suppose this could theoretically level up Terragon. Ah, you're out of mana. Yes. 
Not bad damage. I will say, if there's one thing that does make it seem like that this combat just kind of lags on, it is, it is kind of the animations. Especially when the animations include simply the monster standing up on its high end end and then coming down with great force. And then that's it. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's slap this one first. And slap, sir. I don't imagine that these guys are terribly fast. Which is reasonable to assume they are, in fact, turtles. Nee, he spins. Yeah, I got him. Excellent. I'm becoming a master cocoon master. <laughs> I'm effectively getting three turns on this guy. One that I used to capture his friend, one to slap him, and one to do this. Also, of note, the weapon that my character is currently wielding is a sword of speed. I'm not sure I could really call that a sword. But you know what? That's fine. Ah, I'm an adept now. I don't imagine that this game is very long. Like, ooh, hello. Mm -hmm. Chestnut oil, Platella oil, Hyundai Yuaku. You, the Tendai Yuaku was that really expensive one that I found before, right? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna have Pata murder these ones. Pata! Alright. So, wind. Good, 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 good. Eh, eh just wind them. Yes. Burn that level up, Pata. <coughs> I suppose theoretically I could also uh, go about... Just capturing all these guys? Hmm. Nah. Gotta give some of these mon some of these monsters some uh levels. I'm also kinda hoping to find either very elemental variations of these guys. Or you know fire anything else. <laughs> But of note, it does seem like you do get back a little bit of mana, a little bit of health uh, from some of the fights that you make. But I think the character or creature has to be in the fight. Okay, those are definitely some sort of air-based. Mashira. Ooh. Uh... Actually, wait. Or we switch to Pata. Yeah, let's use uh, this. He's fire a lot. Oh god, I'm I'm just now getting a good ish angle at the Maskiras. Oh, cool. I've been put to sleep. Oh, sleep is gone. Oh, that made me sh skip my turn altogether. Oh no. Please tell me they can't do this often. Okay. 
Oh wow, they're fast. Just gonna... Yeah. I think they're gonna give... Hata a bad time with how slow he is. Especially if they keep on sleeping me. Holy shit. That's a crit. <clears throat> Alright, Pata. Please show them what for. They don't have much in the way of HP, though, so... You got that going for me? <laughs> special up this one and yes I am going to at least capture one of them I'm, I'm too intrigued stop putting Pata to sleep how much each sorry how much MP do these guys have they might be um, a more I guess intelligence based creature God damn it, though. Oh, yeah, go, Pata. He wasn't put to sleep. You know what? You earned this, buddy. <clears throat> There's another couple of them down that pathway. Ooh. Good level. Painful, but a good level. Let's see. Yeah, we're we're fine. We don't need to use items just yet. That's it. That very much looks like a plot direction, so I'm going to avoid going there for the moment. And okay, what was it down here? No, it was the next one over. Look, you can't have large, swirly staircases lined with powerful enemies that put you to sleep and not expect people to assume that it's some sort of plot-related thing. I'm assuming it's some sort of plot-related thing. Just just by general design. It's called video game design, man. Do you spike it? All right. Wind. I've got four of these guys right about now, right? I guess I really, okay. Oh, that almost kind of hurts. All right, murder one. You, you couldn't have done that crit when it needed to die. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, okay. Seems like Terragon can... I really need to rename him <clears throat> when I finally get him to have another level up. Aragon? Like, A I R Aragon. Yes, I like the punny names. Shush. All right, another one of these guys. I'm, I'm gonna let that one just go on, live his best life. Well, this looks sinister. Um. Is this plot path? Okay, so that's plot path. And I have a feeling if I try to go around this other direction, it's gonna lead me right to him as well. Mm. Not that that's necessarily... He's blue! 
Omas. Okay. Now we're on to something here. I don't have an earth element. I got two fires and a water. Hmm. <clears throat> Just a slight problem there. Just, just the slightest of problems there. Oh boy. This might take a bit. Well, I suppose I could use one of the... I could use one of the other two. Uh, they both have rather low fire affinity. If that chart indicates anything, really. I imagine that um, Arpatron here having pure water is kind of resistant to anything that would be a water-based attack. But at the same time, I don't know. Also at the same time, Arpatron really needs a level up. Now let me test this. I mean, that's more damage than the physical. We'll, so we'll swap out to Dar. Finish off <clears throat> the one on the top with the capture. We'll also use the Sword of Speed on the other, other one. Oh my! Oh wait, are these guys gonna have some sort of a uh, son of a bitch? I'm wondering whether or not these guys have a stomp attack or a foot attack that allows them to do water instead. Because theoretically I could make myself a creature that is like equal parts of all the elements and have like a single elemental physical attack each. But I really need a f fire one. Because according to the legends and whatnot, these. this. Kiki Bar? I remember the first part of its name, shush. Uh, it doesn't have. Or it it's not fond of fire, is what I'm trying to say. And I'm mean I'm willing to take that as hey, it's an er it's an air element creature. Watch my luck in that none of the creatures around here are going to have fire element though. I can run down back to that spiral, though. I've now captured 13 different creatures. Alright. What is this way? Another... Another one of these water guys. I, be I better heal. Let's see. Apatron's... Eh. Oh, hey. No, the skeleton key breaks? Alright. Maybe there's a second skeleton key at the end of that spiral. I'm gonna... I wanna see what's at the end of that spiral now. Can't help but dig this music. That monkey jungle beat, yo. All right. Could have sworn that might have been something to make it so as I didn't, uh, 
fall asleep at least one or two times. Sharpens Minion's claws. Strengthens Minion's will? Oh! Terra. And then we'll use this one on Arctron. Oh wait, what's this do? Great tree, total restoration. Wow. Oh. Not what I thought I was gonna do at all. Oh well. Maybe it can nope. <laughs> Maybe it can try to zip through the Tur beakers. You're new. You're gonna re face the wrath of Terragon! Wind attack. Whoo! Man. How much did that increase your uh, attack power, Terragon? Holy shit. That was outright murder. I don't condemn it. Okay, one of the terrible things about the method of this walking, I can't like hold down triangle and just slam X rapidly going nothing of use, nothing of use, and nothing of use. Hello, Mr. Skeleton King. Yoink. Oh, this, this is a unique looking place. Hmm. Can I get down there? I'd like to try. Oh, hello. Was that a yes? I heard a... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Excuse me. Hmm. Three pathways. Try this one. I'm gonna get lost. Oh, hello. I don't fully know what it is I'm doing down here. Maybe this, uh, creature I'm supposed to be talking to? Maybe he's gonna send me down here. Hey, a teleporter! I didn't find the other teleporter though, so... Whoops! Oh! That's... wait! No, that's a bug! Bring it. Frey. Apatron. So what I've noticed too is that a lot, or at least um, looking at these guys, I'm assuming that they're going to be poisonous. Usually a safe assumption. Um, they might have some sort of a poison attack associated with their horn. See, I want to capture these guys. But these guys are just perfect for Arpatron to kill. Ooh. I'm just realizing I got a ton of those turtle guys that could actually get Arpatron to pick up one of those guys. Or three of them. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Let's switch out to Dar so that we can catch capture at least one of these fray creatures. Just a light tap on the back of the head. And capture. And 
Jar said, let there be monsters. Wait. Oh yeah, level up for our Patron. Good level. Hmm. No, I'm gonna resist the temptation. I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, we're going to explore that middle area. And then... I kinda wanna poke... the wingman there and uh, see if Pata stands a chance against him. Yes. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am enjoying playing it. As always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.